So guys, earlier this week, I woke up at 4 a.m. I drove down the same exact spot here on the Jersey Shore. I gave it 14 hours between literally four o'clock in the morning till six o'clock at night, just fishing, filming, sweating, getting sunburned, and literally just absolutely grinding the bite here at the beach. It was truly a marathon day of fishing, and it actually very almost had a trophy ending. So I was fishing just here on one of these jetties right here. Not this exact jetty, but a jetty just like this one with little sand fleas, um, literally just fishing for whatever bites. And throughout the day, I had, I think, half a dozen little dogfish and one little croaker through a, probably 12 hours. So finally, once the tide got right, I ventured out on the jetty here, got my corkers. So right away, as soon as I got out here, fishing with these little tiny sand fleas on a little tiny jig, I hooked in something huge. Absolutely gave me a really quick fight before the hook just popped out. And another 30 seconds later, I see a sheep's head almost get washed on the rocks in one of the larger oncoming waves. So that was how the day had started to go. And I knew there was still potential for me to cross off the sheep's head off my bucket list. And uh, that's pretty much exactly what happened. So about 45 minutes later, still filming on the same GoPro battery in 90 degree heat, I hooked into a, a really nice sized sheep's head on that super light tackle. Absolutely crazy fight rivaling any UFC commentary you've ever seen. I mean, it was just literally electric. And I thought my day was saved. I thought I had the scent of the summer on video. Hit the, the stop button to stop recording. And I don't hear anything for about three seconds until I hear the sound of the GoPro starting up, letting me know that I just completely missed that entire fight. So I was still able to get a couple pictures of her, but I had to scrap that video, obviously. I mean, if I don't have the fight on camera, who, who really cares about how the rest of the day went? So, uh, I mean, obviously, Never end the sand, we're out here now. Again, woke up at 4 a.m., back out on the beach here. It's around 6.30 now, and we're gonna be doing the same thing. So the tide's just gonna be a couple hours later. I do have work this afternoon, which is different, which means I have to get out of here a little earlier. Can't be doing any 14-hour sends, probably only 10-hour sends. Over here, our equipment, we've got the sand flea rake, which we're gonna go over, the corkers that we need, the rods ready, plenty of gear, and the crocs, of course. And uh, yeah, that's the plan for today, folks. So let's just jump into it. We're gonna start off fishing for whatever bites right here. I'm gonna go over all the rigging and all that. But uh, you just wanna give you a little prequel on how the fishing went a couple days ago and how it hopefully goes today. So stay tuned. We got a little more knowledge with us this time, a little bit of a head start. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Yo. All right, so the most important part of the day is gonna be getting our sand fleeces bait here. So picked up this little handy sand flea rake the other day. And uh, we just got a little bucket hope we're hopefully going to fill here, so. Let's get a little of this water, all ocean water. That's plenty. And uh, all right, so all you're going to do with this rake, wait for a wave to come in. Either wait for one big set to come in. Here we go. This should be a good wave here. There we are. That looks good. When the water's rushing out, just grab that rake in there, and you're going to catch hopefully a bunch of sand fleas so let's see oh god yeah now that's a haul right there baby <laughs> that should be all we're gonna need but we're gonna get a couple more scoops just because there's a lot of little small ones in there and these are literally candy for any species fishing here so let that water rush out a little bit yeah buddy that outgoing tide is getting these guys fired up There we are. I mean, those are all really nice sized ones too. We're catching a lot of little ones the other day, but I guess I liked that outgoing tide. Whew. Dump in the bucket here. And let's show you how we're gonna rig these guys. So today guys, we're working with two setups here. The first step we're gonna use, we're probably we're gonna catch most of the fish on, and which I caught that sheep on a couple days ago. So really light Daiwa BG here, 7.6 Mojo inshore, and a little tiny jig we're gonna tip a sand flea on. The heavier rod, because my other pen battles out of commission this little pen slammer over here eight foot tika dolphin and uh we're gonna do a little high low rig over here just because we we have a lot of weight on here and this thing can hey, take a lot more weight so yeah light tackle medium heavy let's get into it <laughs> check these guys out man whole bunch of sand fleas all right so guys on the little high low rig over here on the slammer i really do believe more the merrier got three sand fleas on that hook this is just a 1-0 circle 30 pound fluoro leader. 
and really overkill with a three ounce weight. As I kind of mentioned briefly before, this is not the jetty I want to fish. This jetty is super shallow and I'm really not feeling too confident, but there's a whole bunch of people on the other jetty, so I'm gonna wait for them to leave, hopefully. I mean, when I got here the other day at like 10 o'clock, just me by myself with a couple of lifeguards. I wanna be courteous to people that were here first, so I had to pick my own spot over here. This is probably like F tier. Those spots are more like S tier, but uh, hey, we'll get a cast out, you never know. I'm just gonna kinda pitch this guy right here for now, in pretty close because it does drop off. We'll drop her down, not feeling too confident on this setup exactly, or this spot, but it is what it is. And guys, I did mention I'm gonna be out here all day. The high temperature today is like 92 degrees. We're looking at, it feels like temperatures north of 100 degrees because this wind is supposed to die out and just become completely calm. But uh, we might get a little sea breeze here on the ocean as we always do, but it might just be friggin' hot today. So hopefully the fishing is as hot. First rod's out, second rod, here we go. So like I said, I did mention this guy's light jig. This is a Jaws custom baits jig. Homie sent me like a couple dozen way back in the fall and I still have a whole bunch left. Shout out Jaws Custom Jigs. If you're looking for any, I mean, they're pretty inexpensive, pretty affordable, and they really do work great. I've used them for tog fishing. They're definitely field tested and field approved. Little sample here again, candy of the beach, honestly. Half ounce jig, just baiting that guy right there. Pew, looks pretty good. So we're gonna be fishing this super actively, like I said, guys. We're technically surf fishing, not really jetty fishing because of how minuscule this little cutout is but let's give this guy a little pitch right here and we could be catching flounder croaker striped bass spot um weak fish i don't know how many numbers i'm counting up to definitely sheep's head could catch tog because of the rocks here i mean there's a lot a lot of potential let's poke around here we got a couple hours to grind it out and hopefully i'll catch you guys on the tripod soon with something nice in my hands you we on well, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. Look at that guy. Hey, I can get you, buddy. I ain't afraid to get pinched. I ain't afraid to get pinched. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. Oh, got me. I didn't want to get pinched. That's the first catch of the day. Say hi. Little female blue claw there on the jig. Not our intended target for sure. So guys, our time has come. It's now our turn with Jetty. I literally just Usain bolted over here. Um, homie left, now it's our turn to get out there. So before anyone else has the same idea as me, we're gonna literally throw in the corkers right here. Croc, Corco combo. And we just picked up like a billion sand fleas. And uh, we'll see what we can do out there. All right, to rod number one here, the backup rod pretty much. Just gonna receive a couple sand fleas to the face. Now this guy's just our backup plan if we're not catching anything out there. We'll just pitch this guy, not onto the rocks. I don't wanna catch those little nuisance fish. Just a little bit off, catch some other nuisance fish. Now what I'm really, really excited about, already super fired up for, is this setup right here. So we got hundreds of sand fleas. We got the corkers on. Let's get the jig out there. And um, I don't know, I feel like I'm cheating a little bit, staying off the surf and coming out here onto the rocks. But at the end of the day, we all just want to see fish caught. And that's what I'm trying to do for us. First thing we're going to do, we're going to get a little handful of these guys. See a little handful of sand fleas and just throw them in. We're trying to chum these fish up, get them real nice and hungry. Do another handful because we got plenty. And you know what they say, a third time's a charm. Another handful. So a lot of those guys will survive and get back down to the sand. But if there's any sheep's head cruising, they're going to see that and just get mega fired up. Same exact spot I caught mine last time I was here, which uh, is in the X-Files now. Here we go. See if they're hungry. I sure hope they are. Little cast going down. Here we go. Oh, no. In the rocks. He's in the rocks. Good fish, though. Oh, he's in the rock, bro. It's a giant fish, whatever it is. I'm only working with 15 pound braid here. Got him, got him out. Getting him out, he's gonna snap me off. There's no shot. I got really light leader here, not, not good situation. Oh my God. He's swimming somewhere now. Maybe he swam out, ready? No, I still feel that rock on there. 
No, 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 we got him out, we got him out. We got him out, what we got? I'm on other rock, bro. Oh no, dude, this is worse conditions to fight this fish. Oh, it's a nice tog, bro. All day, it's a nice tog. That might even be a keeper if it was in season. Oh my God, wow. All right, we'll take that. Sick, 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 sick. Can't believe we just got him on that fight. Super light tackle. Well, that's not bad at all for a first fish. Little tog, probably a 16 inch or would be a keeper, but they're out of season, so let's send her back. <laughs> there she is. Gorgeous fish. Boom. Boom. So again, guys, the premise of this video is still multi-species with sand fleece. That's species one, technically off the beach kind of. We just did a beach release, so yeah, we'll take it. Incre pretty crazy fight, dude. He was in the rock for like five minutes. I don't even know if I got the whole thing on the GoPro because it was so long. But uh, when those fish are in the rocks, you can feel it rubbing. Just open the bale, let them swim themselves out. They don't want to be stuck in the rocks either. 15 pound braid, light tackle, light jig. That's how we do it. So there we go, that's our first fish of the day, first species. Um, yeah, solid fish. Definitely getting a lot of bites here at the end. Definitely a lot of life. There definitely could be a sheep's head around. Fish this hole. If you guys could do me a favor though, first fish, I think it deserves a like. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I don't ask for much in the videos, but that really helps the videos a lot. And we uh, we like where the channel's headed currently. So let's get a couple more. You. Got him. Little guy. Little tog, I think. Yeah, buddy. That's number two on the slack tide. Ah! Sorry, bud. You're slippery. They do call them slippery bass for a reason. Well, he'll be good. Oh my god. No way I just caught this. That is the ultimate bait, guys. We have to keep this guy alive at all costs. That is a gorgeous little calico crab. I'll take that any day of the week. Yup. <laughs> Just felt this guy on my foot. And we got another sheep's head candy. So guys, I guess I forgot just how much of a grind it was the other day when I was here because if I wanted to recreate how that video went, this is almost exactly how it went. Just add maybe three more hours to that day. We caught two tog and we pretty much just cheated, went out to the jetty. Off the surf, we've caught absolutely zero. Not a dogfish, not a croaker, not anything. So threw the corkers back on as you can see right here. And uh, I guess our only option is to go for the Hail Mary. We're gonna Hail Mary it, get some more sand fleas. We got those calicos, which look really really succulent and uh yeah just go for the home run shot right there on the tip of the jetty so stay tuned let's walk out there get a couple more sand crabs to chum it up hopefully come tight with our uh first ever new jersey sheep's head on film all right so we got a couple more little sand fleas here chum them up and we just threw on this little calico who uh just died a couple seconds ago so we might be able to get them. Water looks really, really good already. We got plenty of incoming tide left, so let's just get right to it. This is gonna be a lot of patience though. We're probably gonna be standing here for, could be a couple hours, so. Oh, wow. Got his face absolutely ripped off. Definitely gonna be a lot of bycatch tog and stuff down there. I just wish they would leave the calico alone. Just looking for that one, one bite. So another thing I did yesterday, guys, in addition to chumming with the, uh, with the sand fleas. I was also grabbing these mussels right here. Just right off the rocks. Give them a little crunch with the uh, corkers. And throwing them in there is more chum, so. Who knows? I feel like every little bit of attractant down there could definitely help. I don't think it can really hurt us to have fish in the area, so. We'll see, we're in for the long haul now. It's Hail Mary or bust. That was a sheep. There's 
little bite like that and the bait disappear. It's gotta be a sheep shark. Got him. Got him. Got him. Sheep's head. Got him, baby. Got him. Knew he was there. Knew he was there. Not a giant. We got him though, baby. We got one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Light tackle. Light tackle. Not a giant. We got him though. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go, dog. <laughs> you. That's the target species. And I got bit by a couple more down there. Let's freaking go, dude. Yeah, buddy. That's what we wanted. All right, baby, we got him. <laughs> oh, yes, first ever sheep's head on the GoPro. Micro guy, this is like half the size of the one I caught the other day. That's him, dude. Let's freaking go. Sand flea bite. God, I'm so pumped. All right, let's send her back. Check that guy out, baby. NJ sheep's head. Got a good release on her. Oh, kicked off strong. Awesome. I'm literally ecstatic, guys. Time check is 12.45. Been up since four o'clock, so we're up almost nine hours now. We've been fishing here since, Jesus, 6.30 in the morning. It took us six hours to catch that fish. That, oh my God, my heart is pounding. We got them, I figured out the bite they hit. They hit so subtly, you can barely tell you're getting your bait stripped until you just feel nothing and it's gone. They literally just like kiss the bait and then it's gone, so. Oh, we just lost our bait bug. I don't know if there's gonna be more out there. I don't know if I have a bait bug. I just watched it get washed off the jetty, so. Let's get out there and see if we can maybe find our bait bucket, maybe catch a sheep's head, but. Day is made, we got the target species. Let's go. Conditions are definitely getting a little treacherous out here now, guys. I don't really like being out here in this, especially in the incoming tide, it's only gonna get worse. We gotta get this bait bucket, we can find it. All right, well, that's gone. Sucks to have that disappear on us, but hey, that happens out here fishing in these dangerous conditions. All right, let's get the rake, get some crabs in our pocket, and uh, get to it. Uh-huh. So now we got a pocket full of sand fleece. Shout out Ampio, pocket full of sunshine. Fantastic song. All right, getting a little treacherous out here, but oh, right to the face. This one, the fishing should get good. I'm only gonna give it maybe uh, 15 more minutes out here if we don't get a bite, then we'll call it. But uh, I knew where they are, man. Right here when I saw this pocket of slack water. Woo, water's coming up. Oh, just have one. Oh boy. Here we go. This is when it gets a little tricky. There's still sheep's head down there though. I literally can tell, I can feel them. Uh-oh, hold on. Hold on. Got him. What the frick? No shot, dude. No way, look what we just caught, dude. What a day. What a day this is becoming. Oh yeah, nice weak fish on the fleas. No. Oh, I wanna get a picture of him so bad. Nice weak fish right there, dang it. Everything's hungry now, dude. Of course, when it gets mega rough. I mean, look at these waves. Gotta be careful out here. There, yeah, there's fish all over this corner. This is gonna be good here. Let's just hope no big waves come. If not, we'll uh, have to go for a swim. There we are. Oh, dude, big fish. Oh my God, this is nuts. This is the most insane bite I ever got on. Oh my God. There we are, got him. God. Oh no, dude, that was him. That was him all day, that was a giant one. Oh my God. Oh, bro. That was Papa all day. They're killing me with this, man, they're killing me. 
dude. Missing a whole bunch of them. They're everywhere. It's instant every time. There we are. Got him. Got him. Got him. Another nice sheep's head. Gotta be a sheep's head. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Oh, yeah. That's a proper one, dude. That's a proper sheep. Proper sheep. Proper sheep. Proper sheep. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stay on. Stay on. Oh, wait from the rock. Wait from the rock. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. No, no. Rip and drag. Oh my god, not good. Oh my god, he's huge. 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 He's giant. He's giant. Giant sheep's head. Giant sheep's head. Rip and drag. Oh my god, he's huge. He's freaking ginormous. He's giant. He's giant. Come on up. Oh yeah. Oh my god, yeah. That's a trophy. That's a mega. Oh my god. Just in time, we got up. All right, let's get this guy out of here. That's a giant, a giant sheep's head. Oh my God, this day is unreal. Look at this toad, holy God. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm, I'm losing my mind. I mean, he's all day 10 pounds on this slight freaking setup. Oh my God, bro, unbelievable, unbelievable. This is sick. I got a tape measure on this guy holy mega holy mega dude holy absolute mega god what a trophy fish dude holy shoot he is from the tip of the tail 22 inches long giant 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 fish look at that guy oh my god look at his teeth that is epic bro and that's it baby mega sheep's head oh my god dangerous treacherous conditions absolute grind all day 23 inches, gotta be way past 10 pounds. 12, 13 pounds. Oh my God. Trophy, trophy sheep. I love my life. This is incredible day. Let's try to get a one hand release going over here. I mean, look at this guy. Absolutely gargantuan fish. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Oh no. Oh, just kicked off, wave broke right on him. Am I stoked? Or am I freaking stoked? That jetty is completely underwater. I mean, waves are just crashing like crazy. We got him, a 23 inch mega sheep's head, dude. Ultralight tackle. Oh my God, it feels so good after fumbling the bag a couple days ago filming here. Oh my God, dude, what a bite. I don't know if I'm gonna go back, gotta check a time, see if I gotta get to work. Also, I mean, it's dangerous out there now. I, I would not suggest anyone goes out there in conditions like this, but holy mega sheep. I love my life. Awesome, awesome, awesome bite. Awesome day. All right, guys, just got a couple more sand fleas. The tide is absolutely ripping. The waves are huge. Almost just lost my balance, but we're gonna give it literally five to 10 more minutes. If I don't get bit within a minute, I'm gonna leave because now these, this is just stupid to be out here. This is just dumb. We're in the middle of the high tide cycle. Let's try to get a little bait out there though, huh? Mega sheep's head, dude, let's go. Oh yeah, we're in the friggin' two feet of water now. Got him. On again, next cast, bro. Next cast, another giant. Another giant, get the frick out of here. Mega wave. Oh my God, this sucks. Okay, that's the last fish. I don't even care if I land this guy. Waves are huge. Unbelievable, another nice sheep's head. Epic, dude, epic, 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 epic day. It does not get better than this. First freaking cast, dude. Not a 22 incher, probably five, six, seven pounder there. I'm terrible at weights. Dude, what, what a day this has become. Well, I missed that release there. GoPro wasn't recording, but maybe the phone called angle. Whew, he's gone. I'm losing my mind out here. This is absolutely unspeakable bite. This is ridiculous. So when I say don't try this at home, don't ever do that. Don't go out there. I lost my balance a bunch of times. Almost got swept in literally at least half a dozen times. One way from the back and I lost my, my balance completely. I was trying to be a little quiet about it. Cause I was so caught up in that moment, but that was probably the dumbest thing I've ever done. Most dangerous thing I've ever done. 
absolutely treacherous conditions, but it was worth it for those trophy fish. I was here a couple days ago, like I said, I called that sheep's head, and I came back today with like that as a backup plan, a Hail Mary, a home run plan. And um, I mean, that was anything but. That was, this is an absolutely spectacular day. Probably one of the best days of fishing in my entire life. To catch a bucket list trophy fish like that, of trophy size, in incredibly dangerous conditions. I mean, I will never forget this day. Absolutely legendary, guys. All I ask for is hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I mean, I put a lot of time in these videos, days, weeks, and then even more days editing. So I appreciate all the support we've gotten recently, guys. Hopefully this video blows up. Uh, I'm still riding that adrenaline high right now. I've gotten 12 hours of sleep past couple of days. Absolutely sick. So see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned. Never end the set.